Okay, in the last episode, we deal with how we identify the centers of a small circle. So in this episode, we want to also identify the centers of the grid circle. The key point we are going to be uh, taking note of is going to be for a grid circle, the angles or the position of the two points must have the same word, longitude. In the small circle, both have the same latitude, meaning that is the common point between the two points. So if in case I have a point A that is 40 degrees north and 50 degrees east, then B to be, let's have this to be 35 degrees south, then 50 degrees east. That means we are dealing with the same la uh, longitude. The first point we are aware is latitude. The second angle is going to be the longitude. Since they have the same, uh, how do you call it, longitude, we are going to have a grid circle. Make this sketch. Your meridian zero, that is a latitude, longitude zero, right? Is going to be here. Then beginning with 40 on the latitude, any horizontal line we draw is representing the latitude. So latitude 40 north could be here. Then this is going to be 40 degrees north. Then we are going to 50 degrees east. Our vertical line. So this line is going to be our 50 degrees what? East. The intersection of the longitude and the latitude gives you the position of the point. So this is A. Then 35 degrees south. South. Meaning the line is going to be passing here. This is latitude 35 degrees south. Then longitude 50 degrees east. On the same longitude. So the intersection, I have my B. Don't forget the center will be here. So to form the circle, we have this line and we have this line. You get it? This is going to be the radius. We got a line from the center to the circumference of this longitude. This will be having the counterpart. It's a 3D. So a circle from here, then this. We form a circle in this manner. Then we have the center. The point A is here. The point B is here. So what will be the angle formed by this arc? Which is the, the angle at the center of the sector. This angle here is a common longitude for both. So we ignore it. We pick their latitude. This latitude 35 degrees what? south, north. So this angle, 40 is going to be here. This angle is going to be 35. So that a combined angle at the center becomes 75 degrees as this angle at the center formed by the length of AB, which is the sector, uh, the arc on that circle. So this is a great circle. What makes it a great circle? Because the center of this circle that we are forming with the latitude 50 degrees is also the center of the earth. So any line from the earth to the uh, circumference give us the radius to be the radius of the earth itself, which is giving us an approximation of 6,400 kilometers. That's the approximation. So that's the radius. No. As unlike that of the small circle, which we need to calculate because all their radius will be different depending on the position on the globe. Or better still, on the earth. So let's see if we have a point C on 50 degrees north then we have 30 degrees west. 
this is going to be let's have 60 degrees north and 30 degrees west we want to represent this this is also going to be a great circle because we are having common longitude right so let's make a sketch of what that will be like that is a zero being the center here so let's focus on 50 degrees north latitude so we are going to have 50 degrees north then we have 30 degrees west of the longitude so this is west right so the intersection gave you c then 60 degrees north don't forget as you are moving away from the center the angle become bigger so this is if i have a broken line this line is going to be latitude zero so if i move away 10 20 it means as i am moving closer to the apex the angle is becoming bigger so this is going to be where the 60 degrees will be above of the 50 degrees so this 60 degrees north also north on the same latitude 30 degrees we found itself here as well the point d right so if that is the case we are saying that any point on the longitude is going to be having the center as the center of the edge so i can draw this line and draw this line to form the sector so that is going to be the center d c so the radius will be here o now we need to represent the angle there also right now if we check the angle we are looking for is just here not the angle from the latitude zero to this place so you are moving all the way from here we move all the way to form the angle so we are having two angles here one and two i don't know if that is visible you see the small angle all the way from the zero meridian right you move you get a first angle you move again you get a next one and you see the next one is making use of the first angle plus the second angle but we are only interested here which means the bigger angle which we are having where is the indication we have 50 and 60 degrees both on the north right so this angle 50 is going to be the first small angle we have here then 60 is going to make use of both the 50 plus an external and that will be 10 so this angle here will be 10 this will be 50 putting the two together will give you the 60 so the angle here will be 10 degree so unlike uh, just like we did for the small circle when the angle on the latitude are of the same side north and north there will be a subtraction between the two angles but when they are of different side north and south there is an addition of the two angles different side north south you add on the same side south south you subtract north north you subtract so that also give us the difference between the angle formed in the center if they are on the same side or of different side i believe this will also go a long way to give you the fair idea how to be drawing the group or the sphere and indicating either a small circle or a grid circle let me know in the comment section if this helps share like comment and subscribe